Let's now move forward to our frame. I'm going to rotate and select this face. Right click and select Create Sketch. Next, I'm going to hit O for Offset. And I'm going to disable Chain Selection, selecting this edge, this arc, and this edge. Now the offset value to be 0.3. Hitting OK and grabbing our line, hitting L. So dropping our first point at this corner. I'm going to hold my left mouse button to create an arc. And final point at this corner. Hitting Escape. Selecting this line, right click and selecting horizontal vertical. Next, selecting this vertical line, control left click this arc, right click and select tangent. Next, selecting this arc and our arc, right click and select concentric. Next, I'm going to delete our concentric constraints. Left click and delete and resize this one. So I'm good with this position. I'm going to hit D. Selecting this center point and our origin, I'm going to drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 27. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit L to grab our line. First point here and second point here. Hitting escape. So we now have created a profile. Now, I'm going to hit E to grab our extrude tool. Operation to be new body, selecting this profile, this profile, and this profile, grabbing our arrow. Now I'm going to change the operation to be new body. So we left another profile, so I'm going to select this one, control left click, so inspecting, moving this one. Going to right view and turning on the visibility of our canvas. I'm going to grab this one and position this one up to here. So I'm going to key in negative 51. Hitting OK. Now notice that our model and our reference image is a bit off. It is because of the photo that was taken in perspective view. So this body will be our reference and moving forward, we will construct our frame by using the sculpt tool. So but first, I'm gonna go to our canvas and selecting image one, right click and select edit canvas. So I will drag our image down and hit okay. Now from here, we will deviate and add our own artistic flavors. Now the Sculpt tool is also a freeform tool. So now I'm going to select Create Form, hitting OK. And now I'm going to go to Create and select Box. Now for the rectangle type, make sure it's two point. And I'm going to select this plane. I'm going to drop our first point here at this corner. Left click. Next point. I'm going to drop it here. Next, I'm going to rotate and drag this arrow. And I'm going to key in 30 plus. 3, inspecting, and finally hitting OK. Now we are in smooth mode. Now if I hit Alt 1, box mode, and Alt 2, it's a combination of smooth and box mode, and Alt 3, returning to smooth mode once more.